Hi lovely Scorpio, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie. Today I'm going to be doing your monthly reading for August. And this is a little bit of a different setup guys because honestly I just wasn't feeling the Alice in Wonderland deck. I don't know, something about it was just feeling kind of off. So I'm going to go ahead with this holographic version of the Writer's Weight Tarot. This is like the Chinatown version, it's really cool. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here, Scorpio. As always, know that I appreciate you infinitely. And if you're new to my channel, I invite you to join me in my mission to reach <laughs> 20k subscribers. We're kind of close, kind of far away. I don't know. I would love your support. <laughs> I do weekly readings. I do monthly readings for you guys. And I do daily readings for those who are Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. So if you have any of those placements, you can go ahead and enjoy them daily. This is going to be a very freestyle, free flow reading. Before we start, as always, coffee. <laughs> Okay, so, universe, what messages do you have for our lovely Scorpios for the month of August? What messages do you have for our lovely Scorpios for the month of August? Some of you guys may be dealing with soulmates, new love coming in perhaps, or existing love that is reaching higher levels some of you guys may, may be dealing with a little bit of conflict maybe with a group of people due to confusion or defensiveness Scorpio I'm not gonna go that deep into the cards I'm going to pull the whole thing first so please hang out with me stay <laughs> stay don't go <laughs> because it's very likely that it's gonna take a minute um, if you would like, if somebody would like to actually timestamp the beginning of the reading when I actually start reading the cards, that would be cool for those who are maybe in a rush and don't want to go through the large intro. Today I'm taking my time with you guys. I don't want to rush. I don't want the messages to come flying out of me. I just want to spend this time with you Scorpios and enjoy it, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. Month of August for our lovely Scorpios. Month of August for our lovely Scorpios. High Priestess here. Two of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Page of Pentacles. I'm, now, I'm gonna be pulling a lot of cards. So in the meantime guys, I invite you to check out everything in the description box as well in case if you're new to the channel there's tons there for you to see. I have, and for those even those that are subscribed I do have news. We have a Patreon page now, so that's really cool. If you guys are enjoying the constant readings every week, every month, and you would like to give something back, I have a tier among the Patreon that is just $2.99. And just, you can just stop by to just say thank you if you feel like it. Of course, it's not required. I do these readings with tons of love, as you know. I hope you know. <laughs> but if you want to give something back, that's the way. Also, there's new products for the channel, which is something that I'm extremely excited about. There's mugs and hoodies and bags and this like boho spiritual inner jokes products that I really 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 enjoy and I'm setting the goal that I am not going to sell anything that I wouldn't buy myself Wheel of Fortune Ace of Swords and Justice whoa hello 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 <laughs> There's so many cards popping and flying. Okay, I think that's probably it. Justice card, King of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, the Sun, lovely, the King of Pentacles. That's exactly the amount of cards we needed. 
and the Nine of Cups. Ooh, so many interesting energies. I don't even know where to start. Let's start at the bottom of the deck. Nine of Cups. So, Scorpio, this is going to be a very fulfilling overall month for you. You are in a good space. You're in a good place. You have already created this beautiful world around you. And now you get to enjoy it. And you get to feel proud of all of the previous manifestations that you have prayed for and brought about. I love that for you, Scorpio. I do. My moon is in Scorpio too. So I have that little bit of magical Scorpio energy there. Okay, let's start. How about we start with the most positive um bright important messages and then move on into all the red flags advice the important advice that you need to gonna need to follow or keep in mind in order to avoid um any kind of chaos or disruption so i'm gonna leave the important advice for the end of the reading i'm gonna start with the high vibe the sun <laughs> So yes, lovelies, this is going to be a wonderful month. I feel like the fact that Mercury is turning direct and the fact that Jupiter is also turning direct is going to be very beneficial for you guys. I, if, for, for all of us, truly, for all signs. I feel like you are going to get out of this hermit energy a little bit. The hermit energy that was so characteristic of the month of July due to the retrogrades. You're going to come out of that and the wheel seems to start to turn again in your favor. Things begin to speed up, things begin to flow forward. And there's a lot of reasons for you to celebrate, Scorpio. There's a lot of reasons for you to celebrate. There's going to be maybe some social gatherings, maybe some invitations, weddings, birthdays, you know, Maybe just even going out with your friends, going out for a drink, and just celebrating the good things that are happening this month of August. Because there does seem to be abundance coming in, clarity coming coming in, love coming in, a lot of intuition and kind of like destined guidance also coming in. Some of you guys are going to be celebrating some kind of legal conclusion maybe a chapter that is closing or opening in regards to something that has to do with paperwork or any kind of legal stuff for example maybe you're celebrating that you are married through how do you say that in english in spanish it's like casados legalmente like legally married <laughs> legally married so maybe some of you guys are going to be celebrating that you're legally married and why do i say married because we have the four of um wands here and the ace of cups here so definitely some of you guys many of you guys in some shape or form are stepping into a higher level of commitment in love but i do feel from these two cards that maybe you're celebrating a union maybe you're celebrating a divorce who knows maybe you're celebrating a birthday maybe you're celebrating a promotion or the the resolution of a court case or something that you accomplish you know through a lawsuit or something like that it will be successful and reasons for you to celebrate okay i love that in regards to love as i was mentioning some of you guys could be dealing with a person who feels like a soulmate to you Someone who maybe feels very familiar, like you've known them before, maybe even from like past lives, feels like a soul that you know very well. Maybe this is someone who you have had a powerful click that you immediately feel incredibly comfortable with. You know that immediate chemistry, that kind of thing? This could be honestly any sign because we have way too many people here. But what I'm getting the most is this could be a water sign or an earth sign for most of you okay but it could also be an air sign or a fire sign really it doesn't it doesn't really matter let's not focus on that <laughs> but it is someone who you feel very connected to with this person they may there may be this month a new level 
of commitment that comes in, all right? Something that feels really, really good. Something that has manifested due to your new level of awareness over your value and your self-worth. So this is not only a reason to celebrate like, yay, my relationship is going well, yay, I met the one, yay, I'm getting married. It's also a matter of, yay, I have mastered my fear of intimacy. You know what I mean? Or I have mastered the ability to, you know, be in a relationship and, you know, do it. It's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Um, in the best way possible, but sometimes it needs some practice, right? Um, with the Four of Wands here, this is a very happy, successful connection, guys. Some of you guys already met the person that you're going to spend the rest of your life with, and you kind of know it, which is beautiful. It all seems to be headed in a very beautiful, positive direction with that, so congratulations. <laughs> That's very lovely. And obviously that goes for some Scorpios. Some Scorpios are probably going to feel like, well, I haven't met that person yet, so that message is probably not for me. Let's look for the message for those who haven't perhaps met that special person. So, there could be a possibility, but I'm not feeling like it's in August though, that in the near future, yet not August, you may be receiving important proposals, perhaps from a Leo, or from a king of pentacles. So this could be a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus. This could be a person who's very financially stable, who's very professional, who's very grounded within the material world. However, I don't feel, honestly, I don't feel like this proposal is coming in August. I feel like it's, it's coming a little bit ahead of time. It's coming in divine timing. And I know that's going to annoy the hell out of a lot of you guys. <laughs> but what I'm getting here is that it will arrive in different timelines for different Scorpios. And it will be the perfect time for each. So we can't really go into that. I'm not going to go into that message because it would be, you know, inaccurate. What else do we have here? How about we go into money? Let's see how is the money going to flow? For you, Scorpio. Okay, so there's definitely some things in your life, financially speaking, materially speaking, that are starting, that are kind of new. And there's others that are, you know, a little bit more mature. The cool thing is that they are maturing in different rates. In different speeds and that is going to create kind of like a like a windfall of abundance that's gradual so it's like okay I started this project in January last year now that project is beginning to give me money and then two months later I started that other project and that means that in two months approximately after the first windfall I'm gonna get another windfall you know what I mean it's like a escalated um, shower of money <laughs> Who wouldn't want that, right? Um, and there seems to be, as I mentioned, like some things that are already going, but there seems to be also more important opportunities coming in this month. So there's things that maybe you haven't started yet. Maybe there's things that you haven't seen yet. Opportunities, ideas, projects, um, platforms, products, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, depending on what you do. It seems like the month of August is actually going to hold even more um, like steps to that staircase and this staircase is bright and shiny my friend it looks like there's going to be a lot of abundance available for you what leads me to believe that is the fact that we have the king and the queen of pentacles which as you know it's probably also speaking about an earth sign in your environment this could be a capricorn a virgo or a taurus yes of course but what i'm getting here is that there is the perfect marriage between feminine energy and masculine energy in regards to your material world right now so it's like you're putting in the work you are doing what you need to do you're being disciplined you're being organized you're putting in the effort the time the energy right which is the masculine side but you're also connecting to yourself connecting to the universe nurturing yourself 
receiving all of the blessings by being in your feminine energy as well in regards to the material world. So it's like there's a very positive balance here. And that is what is bringing in all of that abundance. The cool thing is as well is that maybe Scorpios, you have recently shifted perspective in regard to money. Some of you guys have gained a new perspective, a new level of maturity in regards to your spending, in, your, in regards to your saving or your income in general. I feel like now all of the money that's going to be coming in in some shape or form is being very well taken care of by you. You're no longer spending no longer spending on things that you don't need to be spending on. You're giving it the importance that it requires without being overpowered by it, if that makes sense. Some of you guys could even be hiding <laughs> from others the fact that you're doing very well financially for a fear of people around you starting to ask you for money. Some of you guys are keeping this kind of hidden. That doesn't go for all of you, but for some. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, okay, so at the beginning of August, you are going to be feeling quite unclear. It's like the Mercury retrograde fog shadow thing is going to be there, but it's going to lift off, bringing this Ace of Swords into your reality. So if the Seven of Cups is an energy of confusion and lots of options, but not, you know, it's like a mental fog in general. The Ace of Swords is the sword that cuts, cuts through the fog and tells you exactly how things should go or that new idea, that new project, that epiphany. So at the beginning of the month, you may feel this way, but it is going to lift off, all right? So yes, you guys, this is what I have for you. It seems like a very, very lovely month ahead for you, honestly. Please let me know if this resonates. Remember that this is a general reading, so it's not going to apply for every, every, every message is not gonna apply for everybody. So take the messages that apply for you and leave the messages that don't apply for you for those who they apply for. It may be for someone else, okay? So I'm sending all my love, you guys. Make sure that you are subscribed before you go. Please, I really want to reach this goal as soon as possible. And make sure to check out all the products. You might like some of them. I'm sending all my love your way, guys. Bye.